everybody, and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two amigos are back in this bitch. That's right, guys. And we're, guess what we're about to do? What's that? We're about to get extreme. Extreme! As we uh, review time, we're going to review uh, Extreme Championship Wrestling ECW's November to remember because it is November. That's right. So we nineteen ninety five. Nineteen ninety five. One thing missing. What's that? November rain. November rain. That's right. Uh, Love Guns and Roses. November rain. Great song, by the way. Which, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, ECW used that goddamn fucking theme. song every time for a November. <laughs> every time for November to remember, they use that song. But here we go. November to remember. Nineteen ninety five. Um. Before we get started, though, uh, I do want to mention. Yeah. Tommy. Yes. What we got to mention is that uh, there's something special going on exclusively on the awesome 4K YouTube channel. What's going on? Well, it's going to be The Best of Tommy, Volume 6. Volume 6, guys. That's going to drop December 4th. So December 4th. So make sure, and, and, and guys, that's exclusively on the Awesome 4K YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, you go check out Awesome 4K for that video. He'll, he'll, I can't wait to watch it because oh, yeah, he does yes. a lot of good shit. So uh, uh, if, if you want to see Tommy's, uh, you know, the best of Tommy, uh, uh, you know, volumes, the best of Pops. Uh, he even has the best of just Wrestling Rampage alone. Yeah. Guys, go to his uh, channel because in December he's going to be dropping these videos like yeah. crazy. So. Go over there. Uh, the first one right up is going to be Tommy's Volume 6. The Volume best of Tommy, 6. Uh, December 4th. So make sure you guys do that. Yeah. And uh, the link for his channel will be in the description box below. You hit that link, goes directly to his channel. Tell him WR sent your ass. No doubt. W November to remember 1995 review. Tommy, November 18th, 1995. Tommy on commentary solely. Is Joey Styles. As usual. That's right. Which you don't see nowadays. Now, no, you don't. Now you see fucking three or four man booths. Yeah, you Please. see three or four man booths. Which I have no problems with three men or... Uh, three but here's the see, We'll see. I have no problem with it if it's three people that know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. But... Unlike someone on Tuesday or Friday. <laughs> we know what you mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those two disheartening days. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, we're at the EC, the famous ECW the arena. The famous ECW arena, the 35, 25, whatever fucking 100, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is. I think it's 2300. Yeah, 2300, 2500. Uh, right there in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Home of the ECW arena, the Bingo Hall. The Bingo Hall. That's right. Uh, Tommy, the first match on the card, it was supposed to be the Broad Street Bully. Yes. Versus Don E. Allen. Yes. Uh, but, um, we have a special guest ring announcer for this, uh, for this, uh, for this match, and it's... Bubba Ray Dudley. Not Bubba, it's Bubba Ray Dudley. Yeah, Bubba Ray, Ray Dudley. Dudley. Uh, and Tommy, he has the speech impediment. Yeah. Which he's been getting over, supposedly. Which I enjoyed the, uh, the old white suit he was wearing. Yeah, the, the old white, white topper. And not only that, but I mean, uh, you know, the Dudleys are synonymous with ECW. There yeah. was a bunch of them there. There's Sign Guy Dudley, Big Dick Dudley. Dances with Dudley. Dances with Dudley. So. I, was, I was waiting for Mama Dudley to come out. <laughs> Mama Dudley should have came out. And where's Papa Dudley? And Tommy, well, this match was supposed to take place, but uh, yeah. uh, Bubba decides to grab uh, the Broad Street Bully and, uh, well... Uh, he grabbed Donnie Allen Donnie in his Allen fucking first, canary yeah. yellow tights. And, and power bomb him. Yeah. Power bombs him, and then the Broad Street Bully, the one who was refereeing at Slamboree 1994. <laughs> check out that review. Remember? Yes, I do. Check out that review. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he attacks. Uh, he's going jumping on Bubba Ray Dudley with some shitty punches as the Broad Street Bully. The same punches he did with Jerry Sags. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. And Bubba power bombs him and pins him one, two, three. So, uh, so the winner between the Broad Street Bully and Don E. Allen is, is Bubba Ray Dudley. Is Bubba Ray Dudley? And you know what? This should have been a fucking dark match. They should have had this on dark. This shouldn't even not have been on the show. Agreed. Tommy, next we get Paul E. Dangerously comes out. 
The lights go out. Yeah, you know the goddamn uh, monster that took turned out the lights on SpongeBob? Yeah. That was who's the uh, lights person there. Yeah. And he turned out the lights, and here comes the returning Sabu from well, WCW. Well, the lights go down, and then it takes him in, and the lights come back up, and who's in the ring? It's Sabu, Sabu. from WCW. He he came back from WCW. Yeah, because if you guys remember, uh, he did a few, uh, like a very short stint in 95 in WCW. Yeah. Uh, I remember some uh, some nitros where yeah. he was on uh, some of the nitros, but uh, uh, he finally returns back to ECW. Big pop, of course, because people miss Sabu and in, in ECW. Let's go ahead and go with the next match time, and we got the sexiest man, uh -huh. Jason. Yes, in his fucking dark tights <laughs> with his kneecap showing, <laughs> with his low kneecap showing. <laughs> As he takes on Tommy the Mexican sensation. No, the Mex the the most popular Mexican superstar in the world. In the world from the AAA promotion, Conan in a fucking mask, and then he takes the mask off. So why are they wear the fucking mask there? K Dog. But Conan, I'm sorry, I've never seen anything in this motherfucker. Never have, never will, never seen nothing in his hairy chest. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't. His underwear show. His right underwear up. show. I'm sorry, I, I never, I thought Conan sucks. I'm sorry. Uh, not not a big fan. I'm sorry, I never, uh, people see him as a great Mexican wrestler. Where? Because I don't see it. Yeah, well, I will say this, I get, I get. I guess in Mexico he was more. I guess, uh, but not more, here in the more, states. More Everyone's like, "Who the fuck's this jabroni?" <laughs> That's the way I feel. Not only that, Tommy, but we have Taz as the special yeah, guest referee. Here comes Taz as the special referee in his platinum sweatpants. <laughs> in his platinum sweatpants. And he goes, well, I can't wrestle because I guess Paul don't want me to. You know, he can't pay me. So, <laughs> so I guess I'm going to stick to refereeing. And, and then Jason runs his mouth to Taz. And Taz just fucking punches him. Punches him and... And Conan picks him up to for a fucking inverted, almost like a crucifix powerbomb. Kind of like a crucifix powerbomb. And he covers Jason one, two, three, and that's the end of that match. Well, see, and then right after the match, you see fucking Conan just snatch the goddamn mask off yep. his fucking head. And that was the end. Of Why that even wear match? the goddamn yeah. thing? And that was the end of that fucking match. Uh, fuck, this ma too. Fuck, fuck this match too. God, they're not giving me anything to remember in this November, Tommy. So far, this is November not to remember. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with the next match, Tommy. We have, and I'm sorry if I butcher this guy's name, but El Porto Quino as he takes on Stevie Richards. Yeah. Dancing Stevie yeah. Richards, for that matter. And you know what? Well, we should mention that when Stevie's coming out, yeah. there's this familiar face sitting there in the front row. Yeah. Yeah. With the cut-off t-shirt and yeah. big belly you, you showing. You know who I thought it was? I thought it was Franchise Kick at first. <laughs> but I was looking for... You needed the bushy beard. You need the bushy beard. Yeah. Uh, it was actually um, the Blue Meanie. Yeah, this is the Blue Meanie. And he gives him a shirt that says... He gives him a shirt that says Flock of Seagulls. Seagulls. <laughs> Seagulls. Where, the fuck, where the fuck it is. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And, and uh, fat ass comes through the goddamn <laughs> fucking barricade. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I fuck never the blue really, meanie too. I, I never really cared for blue. You know, meanie. fuck him too. Say hello to the fat ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck you. Uh, El El Porto does a uh, dive on Steve Richards yep. on the outside. Yeah, um, I love the white shirt. That old 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 uh, where the fuck Jabroni's name is here. <laughs> El Porto. I'll call him Taco. How do you <laughs> Taco. like that? El El Taco. El Taco. <laughs> El Taco with the dive. That's right. El Taco with the dive here from the from from the next fucking food truck near you. Uh, we see uh, Stevie Richards do a few power bombs on the guy, and then he dives on Meanie. Yeah, he dives afterwards. on the blue Meanie, uh, and then Meanie goes up for a moon salt, and they look like shit. They look like shit, and he missed. Yeah, and then uh, as soon as El Porto gets up. Stevie Richards hits a great Stevie kick. I love Stevie Richards. I oh, do. Yeah, yeah. He's a great fucking talent. I like Stevie Richards. And Stevie Richards picks up the win here over Porto, Quino, Quino. Aguayo, Aguino, <laughs> uh, pe uh, Chili Pepper, whatever the fuck is Jabroni's name is. And, and Stevie Richards gets the I'll, win. I'll say this. Okay. Yeah, this was a decent match. I just can't decent. pronounce your name, buddy. Yeah. I'll just call you El Porto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said, El Porto. Yeah, El uh, Porto, there you go. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. We have 
the pit bulls of pit bull one and pit bull two. Yeah. With Francine. Yeah. With her ass showing. That's right. Yeah. And she looked good in that leather. Oh yeah. A little dominatrix there. That's right. She can uh, be my dominatrix. <laughs> Versus the eliminators of Saturn and Cronus with their manager who just had a shitty match with Conan. Jason. Well, he's warmed up. <laughs> he's warmed up. He warmed up for five seconds. <laughs> That's right. And uh, I'll be honest. Yeah. Out of I like the Eliminators. Yeah. I like Saturn. I like Cronus. I enjoy the Eliminators. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the Pit Bulls. Neither am I. I don't know why. I just never liked them. Uh, like they were like they're passable as a tag team, but. I just never seen I them didn't as see a, much there. I just never seen them as a top tag yeah, team. Yeah, and a lot of people seen them as a top tag team, but I didn't see it. Yeah, 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 neither did I. Um you know, I I enjoyed uh I really enjoyed this match though. Yeah, yeah, like it was I a said. Good match. I have nothing against the Pitbulls, it's just I'd never seen them as a top tag team. And you know, this match right here shows you how innovative and creative uh, Saturn is. Yeah, and I love Saturn. Uh, here's the thing. Perry Saturn don't get the credit he deserves either. No no doubt, yeah. Yeah. People call him a fucking druggie and, yeah. and everything. Well, everyone's had fucking hard times, pal. Yeah. You know? Everybody's had has, has those hard times. You know, but here's the thing. I thought Perry Saturn was a great worker. He was. And, uh, uh, like, like the one where, uh, uh, he puts his foot uh, like uh, Cronus has his, has his yeah. hand like this and, and just flips Saturn yeah. on the outside. That was really cool. Great. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, we see uh, we see a shitty top rope power bomb. Yeah. On Cronus from the uh, from uh, from the pit bulls. Yeah, it looked like shit. And it looked like shit. So much shitty that they had to do it again. Yeah, they had to do it again. That's how shitty it was. Uh, they they went for the super power bomb. At least this one looks somewhat decent. Yeah, unlike the first one. And Tommy, the Pit Bulls beat the Eliminators. Yeah, I think it should have been the other way around. Yeah, my, me too, but no doubt uh, a good quality yeah, match. Yeah, good opinion. match though. It was a good match. Uh, Jason ends up uh, going after Francine and kissing her. Yeah, which I don't blame you. Uh, I don't blame. I, I would have done the same thing, uh, but never force your uh, a male never forces itself on a female. That's right. We should mention that. As well, uh, the pit bulls uh, get them off of them. And uh, did you like the chair shot to Jason? Oh, I loved <laughs> the cell there. <laughs> he hits him. He goes stiff. Falls over, and then his legs go up in the air, and he flops down. <laughs> love like the cell jump. Fish. Yes, love the cell jump by Jason on that. Uh, and then, Tommy, we see the the total eliminator on both of the pit bulls. Well, I have a little problem with this right here. Yeah. All right, they do the total elimination on both the pit bulls, right? Which is yeah, which is the uh, the uh, roundhouse kick and the sweep under the leg. Yeah. All right. I have. I have a little bit of a problem with this. Yeah. They got up and over and didn't sell a damn thing. They just got yeah. up right after it. Pretty much, yes. I thought that was a bunch of bullshit. Like, literally, sell. Li literally, they were down for... They were down for a fucking five seconds. Yeah. And then they get up like a fucking Mega Man over here. <laughs> like their goddamn Michael Vick's pit bulls or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> you know, what the fuck is this shit? Like, yeah. fucking Sell. Sell. Daddy said so. God damn, man. Like, fucking sell. Uh, but a uh, good match nonetheless. Yeah, good match nonetheless. I uh, didn't care for some of the... Well, besides, but, but, besides the chair shot, that was the best thing that happened yeah. after the match. Uh, let's go with the next one, Tommy. It is a Mexican death match when, yes. as, uh, as Joe Gertner called him... Sicosis! Sicosis! Versus Rey Mysterio Jr. Yeah. Uh, I'll say this, uh, we should mention that a Mexican death match is different than a lot of other matches. Yeah. Uh, what this is, is you have to, uh, pin your opponent. And they have to get up at the count of ten. And they have to get up at the count of ten. If they don't, then you win. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, I'll say this, start off a little slow. Yeah. Uh, but most matches do. Uh, start off a little slow. A lot of quick falls, but yeah. of course both of them get up. Um... We see uh, 
the <laughs> Ray misses the springboard off yeah. the off the rail and yep. <laughs> and he just falls. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> um, moonsault into the crowd, Tommy. Which was fucking good from from Ray. Uh, and then Tommy, they go they go over by the crow's nest where Joey Styles is. Yep, and. Uh, we see a hurricanrana yep. off the... Yeah, uh, Ray does a hurricanrana off the top of the crow's nest onto this little ramp. Like a little platform yeah. on there. On Psychosis, on the chair. One, two, three. And now Ray's waiting for Psychosis to get up and he don't get up. Yeah. And your winner of the Mexican death match is Ray Mysterio. Probably, honestly, one of my favorite matches on this Yeah, so far, this is probably one of my favorite matches so far in the pay-per-view. Fantastic match. Uh, Tommy... If we haven't already seen him fucking twice, here here he comes three times. Jason walks out. Yeah. And he goes, Ray, see you got a lot of talent there. I want to be your manager. Yeah. And Ray's like, ah, oh, fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he yeah, goes. Yeah, Ray goes, fuck this guy. Yeah, fuck Let this me guy. get my ECF and W poncho <laughs> yes. and leave. But he, yeah, yeah, we forgot to mention that. Yeah, uh, he has like a, like a, uh, um. It's like half Mexican, like and flag half with the ECW, and then, and then the other half is ECF and W on it. Love the poncho, by the yeah. way. Um, and then uh, the uh, the Eliminators come out, yeah, to try to get after Ray. And nine one one comes and helps. Big nine one one, who sucks in my yeah, opinion. he sucks. Big Al sucks. Yeah, WCW. <laughs> Big Al. He remember he was yep. Big Al. Yep. Uh, and uh, he comes out for the save. And saves Ray Double choke slam. Double gizzard to the uh, to the eliminators, and uh, uh, he gets a uh, uh, Ray gets on top of his arms, and uh, yeah. that's the end of that. That's the end of that. Uh, didn't need the afterbirth. No, in we my didn't. opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next uh, match, Tommy, for the ECW tag team titles, uh, as well. As the ECW Television Channel. And the ECW Television Channel. As the reigning and defending ECW Tag Team Champions and ECW Television Champion. Yeah. Which is the television champion is too gold, too cold, Scorpio, but he calls himself gold. <laughs> yeah, he goes, I, I refer to it as too gold, Scorpio. So it's too cold, Scorpio, and the Sandman. With woman. With woman. As they take, as on, they take on the public enemy. Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge. Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge. Uh, Tommy, uh, I love Too Cold Scorpio. Yeah, I'll, 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 always I'll, have. Yeah, I love Too Cold. Uh, Sandman, for what he was, I enjoyed him. Yeah. Uh, not the most technical wrestler yeah. out there. Yeah. And Public Enemy was a pretty good tag team. Yeah, Public Enemy was okay. I just didn't really. All right, they were more better in ECW. Yeah. Than they were in WCW or WWF. And they got over bigger in those two, uh, in ECW. As, and, uh, and, and and they kind of fucked themselves going to WWF. And, and yeah. going, they thought they were the best tag team ever, which, I'm sorry. Your Public Enemy, they were a good tag team. They ain't one of the best tag teams in the world. I'll tell you that right now. We should mention Tommy as well as uh, the winner of this match gets yeah. an ECW world title shot as well. At... at here at November to remember. Yeah, yeah, right here at November to remember. Uh, Tommy, uh, the match starts off with a dance off. Now, I did enjoy the dance off. I enjoyed the too cold dance. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Rock or Rock wasn't too bad. Rock or Rock wasn't too bad, but but Sandman was awful. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, so uh, and Sandman's wearing Zubas. <laughs> of course, just kind of mentioned that. <laughs> Of course. I love the Zubas. Uh, no dance from Johnny Grunge. He goes, fuck this. Nah, Johnny Grunge goes, I ain't no dancer. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, we see a, a big bra, of course. We see chairs, uh, pans. Tommy, there was even a pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking, there was even a pumpkin pie there. Tommy, Two Cold Scorpio goes on the outside. Yeah. And he grabs... A fake hand. Yeah, a fake hand. He grabs a, a some some fan's prosthetic hand. Yes. <laughs> and he's jamming it up Johnny Grunge's ass. <laughs> and then he jacks himself off with it. Yeah, he grabs it and just goes like this. 
sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Johnny Grunge gets busted open uh, on the rail. Rocco Rock does a uh, uh, does a flip uh, on Johnny by accident. Yes. Uh, when Sandman moved, and Tommy Sandman's kind of up, leaning against the ropes, and well, he falls onto Johnny Grunge and covers him one, two, three, and falls on. So, uh, winners and still ECW Tag Team Champions, and two Cold Scorpio keeps his TV title. He gets to keep his TV title, but the winner. It's the same man who gets that uh, ECW World Heavyweight title he shot. Gets an ECW World Heavyweight if title. If I was too boy. cold, I would have broke that up. I'd be like, no, listen here, drunk. I'm, I want the goddamn world title. <laughs> I want to be three gold Scorpio. Well, I'm sorry, it's true. Uh, you know? I'm yeah. sorry. They're, I know we're in a tag match. Yeah. But the ECW World title is on the line. You're getting a shot. And you're not going to break it up? Well, well, well. Well, too I cold. Guess, I guess too cold didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he was too busy dancing in front of a woman. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, Tommy, uh, Scorpio grabs a beer, pours it down, uh, Sandman's gullet. Yep. To get him revived, and Sandman starts dancing again. Yep. Horrible dancing. Yes, it was. Uh, entertaining match. Yeah. Good match. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I really did. Uh, next, next match, not so much, Tommy. We got the, um... What what they call him? The ECW Commissioner. Commissioner. I was about to say owner, but he wasn't the owner. ECW Commissioner. Commissioner Ty Gordon takes on Bill Alfonso. Bill Alfonso. You want me to tell you what I thought of this match? Well, we should mention Tommy's special guest referee, Beulah McGillicuddy. I don't give a fuck who's in this match. This match <laughs> sucks. Well, she didn't last long. Let's just say that. She couldn't even save this match. This match fucking sucked. Fucking awful. And what the fuck was Ty Gordon wearing? <laughs> he was wearing the Fonzie Must Die shirt. Yeah. He was wearing these white fucking hockey pads. <laughs> for elbow pads. And let me do the great punches. Man, Ty Gordon knows how to fucking punch. Believe me, he does this. And what a great punch this is. <laughs> yeah, great punch. Let's just fucking fornicate fucking Bill Fonzie's fucking head with these fucking, with these fucking palms. palms here. Right, these fucking palms. <laughs> Can't do a punch. Can't do a can't fucking ball your fist up. I know it's a bony fucking fist, but you can't <laughs> bowl it up and fucking portray like you're fucking it. Nah, they can use the fucking palm of the hand. One time we should mention where Bill Alfonso does that shitty jump start from the, from the apron, and he yeah, that was just a shitty. <laughs> he kind of misses. Time. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh, Bill. Uh, you know, Bill, I like Bill Alfonso. Yeah. Uh, Bill actually takes out Beulah right yeah. off the bat, really. Yeah. Knocks um, her out. Knocks her out, so she's out of there. Todd hits Bill with a uh, with a chair, actually. Yeah, and it was horrible. Horrible chair shots. And shitty clotheslines, too, by the way. And cookie sheet. Yeah, horrible, too. Uh, shitty punches on the outside, like you said. Oh. Around the ring! They did it around the ring! Those fucking palms. He did, Todd Gordon did the fucking palms. Around the ring. And if I was in the crowd by fucking punch, and then these he, look like shit. And then he hits him with a pan. Yeah. And then Tommy, Taz comes out. Yes. And, uh. Todd Gordon goes for the cover. Yeah. And, and Taz pulls the chrome dome of Ty Gordon. Right where the bald spot is. Yes. And punches him. Yes. Puts Bill Alfonso on top of fucking Todd fucking hockey elbow pads Gordon. <laughs> Taz with his platinum pants counts one, <laughs> two, three. So your winner is Bill Alfonso and this match sucks. Yes. And Taz cuts a promo on how, you know, he wants to wrestle. Yeah, and... he wants to wrestle <clears throat> and... And he thinks he's a tough guy, but he's not. And he's a fat orange b bitch. So that's, that's all he had to... I'm sorry, Taz is a bitch. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I'm sorry. He he thinks he's a tough guy, and he's not. Yes. He could cut a great promo. I'll give him that. And he's a decent wrestler. And he's a decent wrestler, but don't think you're a fucking tough guy. Because you're not. Because you're not. Now, let's get to the next match, Tommy. For the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Tommy, when you think about ECW World Heavyweight Champions, does this guy wreck your list? Mikey Whipwreck. No. <laughs> Come on, really? 
of all I'm these great baby. E all these great ECW World Heavyweight <clears throat> Champions, Raven, even Taz, Shane Douglas, Sabu, Sabu, Terry Funk, Mike Awesome, Mike Awesome, just incredible, fucking all these great ECW champions, Jimmy Snuka. Hell, even Jimmy Snooker. I'll even take Don Morocco. That's right. You think all these guys, you think anyone's going to say Mikey Whiprack is one of my favorite ECW champions? No, I'm sorry. You, No one will say that. Then Tommy's going to be taking on Sandman. Well, Sandman starts walking out. Yeah. And somebody comes right right from behind him and just blasts him in the fucking yeah, Steve head. Steve Austin beats the shit out of him and said, No, you ain't getting no title, you drunk. Go back and, and warm up your zoom eyes. <laughs> and here comes Steve Austin, baby. Here yeah, he comes. Steve Austin. And he goes, I'm, I'm taking care of this, Jabro. <laughs> I'm taking care of old Whipper. Yeah, I'm taking care of the Whipper Snapper. <laughs> the Whipper Snapper. Uh, short match. Yeah. Uh, Austin pretty much just beats down Mikey uh, as usual, <laughs> as he should have, as he should have. Austin with the star on his ass, <laughs> star on the ass, baby, because he's superstar Steve Austin. Because <laughs> he's superstar Steve Austin, baby. Um, sunset flip, and Tommy Mikey Whitbrett grabs the tights, grabs Austin's the tights. ass is in <laughs> full in there, <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, and Mikey Whiprack retains the ECW World Heavyweight title over Steve fucking Austin. You know, you want me to tell you what I thought? Hmm. This was the shits. Yeah. Yep, same. Austin should have won that belt. I'm sorry. I, I agree. I, I don't agree. give a fuck who's in there with Whippersnapper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never liked Mikey Whiprack. I didn't think he was a good talent. I'm sorry. And I never seen him win any. T I I don't think he should have won any titles. He won all three of them. Yeah, which, well, that's because ECW is hard to come by. <laughs> ECW, the hard come on, come by. on! Like really, all these titles. Like you think? Uh, all right, I know he won the tag team titles with Cactus Jack. Yeah. You think anyone's going to remember that tag team? No. And he won the ECW TV title. Mm -hmm. You think anyone's going to remember out of all the great ECW television champions like? Rob Van Dam or Rhino or or Two Cold Scorpio or Shane Douglas or any of all these other great television champions. You think anyone's going to mention Mikey Whiprack as one of the great television champions? Give me a fucking break. Well, let's get with the next match, Tommy, because uh, that match just blew. Yeah, it did. We got the Extreme Shaw. Hack Myers. Hack Myers, baby. I like Hack Myers. I, I, I do, too. I do, too. I like his get-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it looks uh, like a fucking... <laughs> looks like a fucking... Biker. And, well, Paulie dangerously comes out and shakes his hand. Yep. Says, yeah. that, it, says that he enjoys his work. The Shaw. And the, the crowd Shaw. likes him, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. The crowd, the, cr the crowd loves Hack Myers. As he takes on Sab... The returning Sabu. Yeah. Or, well, Tommy, give us... Give us a little Paul, uh, Paulie dangerously. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the return of Sabu! Sabu! Uh, what did you think about the match, Tommy? This was a good match. It was good. I enjoyed it. I really did. Yeah, this was uh, a good match between Hack Myers and Sabu. Uh, we see some chair shots in the yep. match. Uh, the springboard. Let me tell you, Hack Myers pushed Sabu to the limit in he, this match. He did. I enjoyed it. I really yeah. did. Yeah, this was a good match. Uh, springboard flip onto the outside, onto the table. Uh, but, Tommy... At the end of the day. At the end of the day, Sabu gets up to the top rope with the chair. The Atomic Arabian Face Buster. First time in that finisher here in the ECW arena. You see fucking Hack Myers give him one of these. And even when he gets pinned, he's doing it. One, two, three. Sabu picks up the win over Hack Myers. And actually a really good match. And a really good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then uh, Sabu gets up. Shakes uh, Hack Myers' hand. Shake Hack Hack Myers' hand. And then walks off. And walks off. So I, I really thought this was a really good match. Really good match. Uh, you know, it was about ten minutes or so. It wasn't very long. But it was a good but, ten minutes. Uh, I enjoyed it. Tommy, let's go with the main event of November to remember. We got Tommy Dreamer and his idol Terry Funk as they take on the team of Raven and Cactus Jack. Uh, Cactus Jack in the Dungeon of Doom yeah. uh, uh, shirt. Which was awesome. Which was awesome. I enjoyed it. Tommy, this match 
had a lot of shit involved. Uh, we yeah, see trash did. cans, we see pots, we see pans, uh, chairs, signs, everything was in this mess. Yeah. Um, and Tommy, everybody ends up getting bloodied. Yes. Except for Cactus Jack. Yeah. Um, and then Tommy, you know, there's nothing too memorable when everything is chaos. Yes, when everything is chaos. Yeah. And that's what this match was. Very this chaotic. This match was, was very much chaotic and fucking too much. Too much. Too much stuff in this match. And then Bill Alfonso and Taz come out, Tommy. For some fucking reason. And he's still wearing the platinum sweats. <laughs> he's still wearing the platinum sweats. And fucking Bill Alfonso and Platinum. Yep. Platinum Taz gets in the ring and they fucking just fucking go in there and and beat the shit out of Terry Funk while he's down. Yeah. Couple punches. Couple, couple kicks. punches and then Taz goes for the cover for some reason. Yeah. And Tom Drew goes, what the fuck you doing, Peter? <laughs> Peter. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Sinertia? Sinertia. And then fucking, they just, you know what they did? You Raven, tell... Raven uh, knocked down Tommy yeah, Drew. knocks down Tommy Drew. You can tell you what Bill Alfonso, oh, uh, Bill Alfonso kicked to Terry Funk a few times. Yeah, yeah. You can tell you what Bill Alfonso and Taz did after uh, that? They just got out of the fucking ring and went back to the back. They just walked Where up. the flower area was. <laughs> yeah, they just walked up to the flower area. Dreamer hits a pile driver onto the chair on Raven. And Terry Funk crawls over. Terry Funk put his arm over Raven. One, two, three. And, uh, well, after the match, we see, uh, <laughs> we see Funk get uh, choked out by uh, Cactus Jack on the outside with yeah. the cable. Um,. Tommy Dreamer wraps a barbed wire halo around Raven's head. Uh, Stevie Richards gets involved. Yep. But he gets a super kick from yeah, uh, Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, Tommy Dreamer, Dreamer super kicks him. <laughs> so he's useless. Of course. <laughs> of course. And his Daisy Dukes. <laughs> and his Daisy Dukes. And then um, uh, Raven hits a DDT on Tommy Dreamer. Uh, and then he does, uh... A he, headbutt with the, uh, halo barbed wire still wrapped around his head on the crotch of Tommy Dreamer. Right yeah. on the dick. Yeah, right on the balls. Right on the dick and balls. And then, uh, <laughs> Cactus Jack hits Terry Funk in the elbow. Yeah, with the chair. With the chair. And then he's like, are we done here? Back to the flowery entrance. <laughs> uh, we also forgot to mention that, uh, 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 Cactus sure got ripped off the Dungeon of Doom. And, and it's the Eric Bischoff face. <laughs> and underneath was the Eric Bischoff face with all the with all the back. Uh, high, uh, what was it like? Uh, forgive me, Uncle Eric. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, Uncle Eric. Uh, but hits to, uh, hits uh, uh, Funk in the elbow <laughs> with the chair. Yeah. And then Tommy, they just walk off. Yeah, they just walk off and and Joe says, "Well, well, thank you for watching November to Remember here on ECW Home Video." No, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fade to black, ECW copyright. Tommy, worst matches on the card. The, the first two matches. Broad Street Bully and Donnie Allen and uh, Jason and Conan. Yep. Shouldn't have been on even. Shouldn't even been on the show. No, it should have been a dark match. Um. You know. Was this actually a November to remember, Tommy? Well, there were some good matches here. You know, uh, the Pit Bulls versus the Eliminators. That was a good match. Uh, Hack Myers versus Sabu was a great match. Uh, the Mexican Death Match, Psychosis and Rey Mysterio, was probably the best match on the show. And just for entertaining purposes, probably Sandman, Scorpio, and Public Enemy. Yeah. Just for entertainment yeah. purposes. Uh, All the rest is kind of forgivable, forgettable. Yeah. Uh, you know, and definitely Gordon and Alfonso was pretty shitty. Oh, that, that you, so. can, you can forget that. And then not to mention, you also have a, one of the shortest matches for your ECW championship, but it has Mikey Whipwreck involved. Yeah. So there you go. And yeah. Steve Austin. Yeah. The superstar. Um, match of the night, Rey Mysterio and Psychosis. Yeah. So uh, I actually give November to Remember 1995 a thumbs up. Yeah, I do too. So pretty good one. Uh, you know, because, uh, you know, not not every ECW show was uh, was fantastic. No. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely a uh, a memorable 
Yes, it was. November. Uh, also, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage, as well as um, you, can follow, uh, you can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. Yes. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys, because, Tommy, we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better.